Hey everybody, if you want to know how I had this practically in my front yard and its historical ties to the Chicago Cubs, keep on watching. <laughs> Um, where we had our home. It was a manufactured home. Um, friends of ours actually bought it. We know exactly who and close to them. And um, they moved it to a different town. But, um, so our house is right here and we have these beautiful front room windows or living room windows. And then this happened. The city gave this guy the top of the water tower to make the world's largest baseball because Joe Tinker, and I will edit right here and explain about him. Joe Tinker was born in Muskoda, Kansas on July 27th, 1880. He would later become a professional baseball player playing from 1902 to 1916 for the Chicago Cubs and the Cincinnati Reds. With the Cubs, he was part of a great double play with teammates Johnny Evers and Frank Chance. That was immortalized as Tinker to Evers to Chance in a poem called Baseball Sad Lexicon. Joe Tinker was elected into the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1946 and was honored by the Florida State League and the city of Orlando. He was from here, and I guess since we don't have any other claim to fame, um, they decided to do this. In the 1990s, a local man discovered the connection between Joe Tinker and Muskoda that, in fact, he had been born there. That is when talks started about how to memorialize Joe Tinker in the town, and a lot of the ideas were thrown about, but none, none came through, until the city received a grant to upgrade their water system and get a new water tower. It was suggested to paint the water tower like a baseball, but the cost of doing that was exceeding the amount of the grant. So a local resident, Jeff Hansen, bought the old water tower and decided to turn it into a baseball and museum. However, the museum has never came to be. This guy, he put it on his property, which happened to be directly across from our house. And um, they have like little shadow people playing ball, which is really creepy at night. When you were living over there and sometimes they have mock baseball games which it looks like they currently had when they dress up like old baseball players from like the 1900s um if you're familiar with baseball tinkers to evers to chase the first triple play joe tinker was in that and that is how this became to be it's literally the top of our old water tower that they turned into a baseball. It was supposed to be a museum, was what the original plan was, but the man who owns this is not exactly young. So if I'm going to echo, if you've never seen inside a water tower, here you go. See, they have those things right there, they're creepy as hell. Anyway, it's a very small area. I mean, very, very small. Like, I don't know how they were ever going to build a museum in here. But it's been here for, oh gosh, probably, I'm echoing really loud. Um, I'll have to look. It's been here for several years now. And here is the big monument that they have. Um, it just says on the top, Muskoda, established 1857. Um, I don't know who A.B. Harvey Block is. Um, maybe I need to figure out who that is. I don't know. But 
all this time I never paid attention to that. Isn't that funny, the things you don't notice? Anyway, here's the baseball field. When I was a teenager, um, Little League Baseball was a big thing and they always played right down there and now they barely can get a Little League team together. Here is the old concession stand and they had people come in and paint it with this mural and it's really hard to see because the sun is just not in the right spot. But there you have Joe Tinker, John Everst, and Frank Chance, um, all from the Chicago Cubs. They did the uh, triple play. And these are the saddest, these are the saddest of possible words, Tinkers to Everst to Chance. And they have a rose festival every year. They hold it up here and you can get, I had pulled pork and stuff they saw out of here. You see it's a, can you tell in there? I'm not sure, but they got a painting um, of people working. And trio of bear clubs, fleeter than birds, tinkers, and Everest and chance. Ruthlessly picking our gunfallen bubble, making a giant hit into a double. You can really see the wearings here. I'm just falling so old and then over here words that are heavy with nothing but trouble tinkers ever chance if any of you that are watching this video has ever heard of this let me know down in the comments and so then we have more here's actually um, I do believe the Joe Tinker baseball card the paint is already starting to peel right there that's sad a little mural and I don't know if you guys can see this or not but I'm trying you got Tinker's Everest of Chance right there and that's how you I mean like here is their kitchen to the concession stand and then out there So, and that right there is the whole reason why this all started. I mean, well, the guy was born here like 130 years ago, but, and then if you notice down here, I'm not going to walk all the way down there, we'll zoom, 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 right down there, this is Joe Tinker, July 24th, 2010, so, um, that's about the time this all started, I do believe. 